What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Series 12 in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off a combo that most people are saying is the best combo for Series 12. We're going to be rocking out with a Palkia team that also features Zassy. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, consider subscribing. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed, and we have tons of cool content coming along the way. We got Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 12, BDSP ranked battles, and then we're also rocking out with Legends Arceus playthrough alongside with guys for that game. So if you're not subscribed, get on top of that, yo. But let's get started here with the team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Palkia. This Pokemon is super, super strong, and I love its typing so much of Water and Dragon. This thing has the pressure ability alongside with the Life Orb as item. So in Dynamax form, this Pokemon is going to be a huge threat. We got Spatial Ren, we got Hydro Pump, both for our stat moves, and we got Earth Power for coverage and Protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is Incineroar, and Incineroar is still broken in this meta for Series 12. It is just so good, and you cannot go wrong with it with any team. It has Intimidate, it's got Safety Goggles, and it's rocking out with Flare Blitz, Darkest Slayer, Fake Out for Flinches, and Parting Shot to pivot out alongside with getting that attack slash special attack drop. Middle left is going to be Zacian. Zacian, still super strong, really hits like a truck, great in most situations, and is just great for controlling the battle and being a back-end Pokemon at the same time. Interpret Sword, Busted Sword obviously has his item and ability, and then we got Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Substitute to set this Pokemon up and to protect him from shots, and then protect for our fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon right next to him is going to be our support mod, and that is going to be Amoongus. And Amoongus is great at just controlling the battle. It has Sport to put Pokemon to sleep. It can heal up Pokemon and do damage at the same time with Palm Puff. It also has Rage Powder to protect ally Pokemon. And then it has Protect to protect itself. We're rocking out with Regenerator as its ability, so it gets HP every time it swaps out of battle. And then last but not least, the item it is rocking is going to be that Koba Berry, so it can eat up a flying move. Bottom left is going to be Regilecki. Regilecki is still one of those Pokemon that is just super good at controlling battles with the E-Web and just outspeeding Pokemon and doing big damage. It's got the Transistor. It's got Focus Hatch as an item. Then, like I said, E-Web for speed control, Thunderbolt for big stab damage, Bolt Switch to pivot out, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Last Pokemon on the squad is the one and only Charizard. Charizard, I absolutely love because this Pokemon, I wouldn't say is completely broken, but it is definitely top tier in this meta. It is just so good all around and good at doing big damage in a certain situation, especially when it has speed. So if you can set up speed with them with like an E-Web Pokemon like Regilecki or Tailwind, you get in this Pokemon and do absolute work. This thing has Solar Power for its ability, Assault Vest as an item, and then Heat Wave, Hurricane, both for stab, alongside with Scorching Sands and Blast Burn for big stab damage. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 12 Palkia and Zacian team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first battle for today's video. And as the time I'm recording this, it is actually January 31st, which means ranked battles are not out for Series 12 just yet. So we're hopping onto that casual ladder to showcase Series 12 teams for you guys. So when this video goes live, it will actually be Series 12. And you guys can actually look at some teams, look at some Pokebays, and get some hands on some great teams for you guys for Series 12 ranked battles. But hopefully we get to find somebody who's using a Series 12 team. That would actually be awesome. Our last time we did it, we did. And this one, we are going to be doing it as well. He has the Zacian and Kai ogre combo alongside with thunderous then he has swift swim barrier scooter and then two great pokemon with real boom and Incineroar. okay how should we go into this one how should we play i could bring uh regilecki i feel like regilecki is going to be great at speed control we just have to watch out for the fake outs because you know fake outs could definitely do us dirty could definitely do us dirty i think that uh that thunderous is rocking bolt absorb so i gotta watch out for my regilecki here he's probably bringing that thing in here right i could definitely see him doing that so i might want to lead the regilecki do i want to lead the regilecki I could. Like, that thing only has Volt Absorb, so I can hit up on the other slot and kind of get going from there. So, let's lead the Regilecki, maybe take Speed Control, and kind of go from there. I could go in with uh, the Fake Out here, which I really want to, and then bring Palkia, and then I think Zacian double down with this and kind of get going from there. Right? Sounding pretty good. It sounds pretty good to me, right? Or I could go in with Amoongus. Amoongus could be really great here. Amoongus could be really good here. It could be lovely. It could definitely be lovely. We could go here. Could go here. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go Amoongus alongside with Zacian for a lead. And then we'll go Palkia and Regilecki. Or do we go Incineroar? Incineroar could just be so good at controlling battles. But I kind of want Regilecki just in case he wants to bring that ring squad. So let's lock this one down. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, Series 12 has actually been a lot of fun. It's definitely 
a slight change in ser since Series 11. So it gives it that that little boost that it kind of needed to kind of make this game feel fresh again. So I'm liking it so far. I feel like they should only do like a month or two of this and then switch it off and do something totally different because obviously this game has been out for a good bit now. So everybody kind of just wants to see stuff new. So I feel like they should keep it fresh. It kind of just bounce around between maps. I really do think they need to just like hard change this meta and take it out with restricted minds, but that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people do like this meta. But he's gonna go in with Kai Ogre alongside with uh alongside with his stunners, and I might just protect my Zassi in turn one and just try to put that thing to sleep. I could definitely do that. We do have the attack boost and we do have speed all day. So I honestly could stay in here. I could stay in here, maybe just put somebody to sleep. Could definitely be my play. Could definitely be my play. I could go here and maybe just attack on you. Set up a sub? What do I want to do? I could definitely set up a sub here. But you know what? I'm going to go for the sleep here. And I'm just going to protect my... Uh, I'm just going to protect my dog right now. We'll see what he's going to do with Thunders. He could Dynamax him. He honestly could. He honestly could. But I kind of want him to Dynamax him. We do have the Koba Berry. So we could definitely eat up some shots. We could definitely eat up some shots. So we'll see how this one goes out here. Hopefully uh, one of his Pokemon goes after my Zacian. We hit a huge protect. And we just uh, spore over with the movies and get old. At that point, I can kind of just Rage Powder, set up Substitute, or just Rage Powder, Rage Powder, Rage Powder, and go in with my Zassi. Or I can swap out and get Regenerator Roll. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing. I'm going to guess the Thunders. I, don't, I say he doesn't do the Kyogre here. And maybe he'll go into a Flying Move into my boy at Moves, which would be lovely. Be, oh, he goes for Kyogre. Okay, so this is a great, great, great Spore right here. If we can land a Spore, this is awesome on his Dynamax Pokemon. I would absolutely love it. Unless it's going for like an, an Ice Beam. That could definitely be scary. Hail Storm. Could definitely do us dirty. Maybe I should have set up a substitute there. Because maybe he might read the protect. We'll see how this one plays out here. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt. And that's going to go. Ooh, he's doubling down at the move all day, isn't he? Hands down. Please do not go for that ice move. He goes for the ice move. Eat this up, Amoogus. He changes the weather, though. Amoogus, can you eat this up all day? Come on. Oh, my God, yo. I love you, Amoogus. Amoogus, you are amazing. He's going to go down to hail damage. But more importantly, he gets off this spore, which is top tier. It's top tier. Spore poking out here. Go to sleep, Kyogre. You're not taking me out with the non-stab damage. So he changes up the weather for himself. And now we get a free swap because, you know, Amoogus goes down. But Amoogus kind of did his job. We should have set up a sub, though. We should have 100% set up a substitute. That's going to poke out here. I could definitely bring out Palkia. And I think I am going to bring out Palkia. And I think I'm just going to Dynamax from there. Could definitely be my play. Or I could just bring out Regilecki. Now, nah, we'll save Regilecki. We'll bring out Palkia here. And I think I'm just going to go into a move with Palkia. I do not want to uh, set the geyser yet. I kind of just want to go maybe into my dragon move for right now. And then maybe set up a sub with my boy Zassi. Could definitely be my play. But Dynamax might have to be our shot here. Watch I want to go into the special defense boost. Could be really, really good. I just think going into our stat move and doing as much damage as we possibly can is a play. So we're going to go there. And I'm going to set up a substitute at the same time. At the same time. Because, you know, Kyogre is guaranteed to sleep here. And we're going to look to get off some huge, huge damage. And just setting up our restricted mods and rolling out from here. So this is so far looking pretty good. We got that Regilecki in the back end. I'm guessing if you brought Kyogre, he brought Swifts and Barracuda, right? I'm guessing that, right? And we're hoping he's going to be a, a, at least asleep for two more turns because that's how many turns he has left in Dynamax. So if he can be asleep for two more turns, he's guaranteed one. If he's asleep for two more turns, it's going to be lovely. But we set up a nice, lovely substitute here, setting up our nice Zacian. Loving substitute here. And he's just going to go, oh, for an eerie impulse, dude. Don't do me dirty like that. This guy's really doing me dirty like that. He's doing me dirty like that. So we're going to go in here. How much damage are we really going to do? Not too much. Not too much. So from here, I'm just going to go into a Max Quake. And I could... Mm, no, never mind. I was going to say, we could go into that uh, that Steel move into the Kyogre. Because he's Dynamax for double damage. But it's like... It's not very effective. So I'd rather guarantee the KO onto that uh, Zacian and get the special defense. Well, not Zacian. I'd rather guarantee the KO onto that uh, Thunderous. And then get that special defense boost for my Zacian. I definitely going to play gotta be a play it's gotta be a play because yeah let's just quake over on the youth get some chip damage and then like i said I could, we could go for behemoth blade but it's not gonna be able to pick up the ko so i mean we're still gonna go for behemoth blade probably over on the him we'll definitely pick up the ko here but it won't do any really damage over to that uh kyogre so that scene's gonna go first and we're gonna get ripping get after him get after him dang we could have actually taken this thing out probably with my zassian earlier i kept my uh palkia full stats but it is what it is. We take him out. We self substitute setup, and hopefully his Kyogre is asleep for at least one more turn. For at least one more turn. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. We do outspeed it, so it will be lovely if this thing is asleep for one more turn. We get this lovely special defense boost, and like I said, we're not gonna do any damage. Cheerier impulse us. That's really tough. We could swap out. 
we could definitely swap out but i really don't feel like swapping out because then if kyogre wakes up he can do some massive damage on the my Regilecki, and then we'll die to the buff it so i just think keeping in our pokemon at this time is our play and just seeing what he's gonna do but we still have the sub but the buffets are doing us dirty they're doing us dirty for sure i kind of want to change up weather but it depends on who he brings out here it really depends so he's gonna go into his next pokemon and it's gonna be zassian of his own the Zassian comes out here. We definitely need a tax drop on it. So I am going to go into a a lovely little uh, Max Wormwind just to get that attack drop. And then we could go into... What do we go into from here? It's a good battle. Well, we could go into that special defense boost. But I think I'd rather go here. Hmm. I'd rather go there. And I think I'd rather maybe just Behemoth Blade across onto him. Definitely going to be my play. Definitely going to be my play. 1,000%. Dude, that's so scary, man. I don't like this game. I don't like this game one bit. Just look at that. Look at, look who's out on the field right now. It's Palkian Zacian versus Zacian and Kyogre. Just some powerhouses of Pokemon. We go into a Behemoth Blade. How much damage are we going to do on that thing? Bring it down to yellow, which is lovely. And we show that we outspeed him, which is great. And again, we still have our substitute set up and ready to go. He drops player off. And Palkia survived. What is up with us surviving on four today? That is just a lovely sight. That is just a lovely sight. We're going to hope that Kyogre is actually asleep for one more turn. Because that could be awesome. Because then I could just bring out Red's Lucky and kind of just get rid we could definitely, we could definitely get ripping. The attack gets dropped. Palkia loses some HP. And please, yo, be asleep. Be asleep so we can keep our subs. Be asleep so we can keep our lovely substitute. Let's see how this one plays. He wakes up. Okay, so our substitute is definitely down here. He goes for a nice big origin pulse. And that's going to definitely take off our substitute all day. Big stab damage. Luckily, we did have that set up. But not a bad battle so far. We still are definitely in this. We have Regilecki coming out here. Probably the one Pokemon he's probably like, yo, hopefully he doesn't bring Regilecki out here. <laughs> Okay, so what is going to be our play here? We could go into an E-Web and then double down into Kyogre. That might be our play. That might be our play. E-Web? Because do we think E-Web can take out that Zacian? I think it can. I personally think it can. Just take him out. Are we boosting special def uh, attack fully for our boy? Let's see. Let's see. We got to be, right? We are. Yeah, special attack and speed. Cannot go wrong with that. And how many turns left in Hail? Will we keep our focus, Ash? Because it might be one more turn. It is. So, Hail should end. We shouldn't take Buffett's this turn. And I'm thinking E-Web is definitely a play. Or do I just go into this? I think I just do that. I think I just do that because I would be very upset if E-Web doesn't take him out. But we, we have speed anyway, and this guy cancels battle. He knows it's over. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our second battle for today's video. And that first battle went perfectly. We got to show off our team pretty well. We got Palkia and Zacian out there at the same time. And we got the Dynamax Palkia. Given he did Eerie Impulse on our Palkia, kind of hindered a lot of damage, we were still able to do some work with both his Pokemon and ended up picking up that win in the end. But we're going up against another Series 12 team. This guy's got a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside a Kyogre. And it's looking pretty scary. He's got two Intimidate Pokemon with Incineroar and Landorus. Then he has Speed Control with that Whimscott and then Fake Out and Grassy Glide with that roll boom so gotta watch out for that squad definitely looking scary i feel like going into speed control is probably our play i think going in with reg lecky and maybe alongside with you get some intimidates could fake out kind of can just go from there i really like that then we got to go in with a uh, dacian and then i'm guessing palkin right gotta double down in both these pokemon or we could bring uh we could bring charizard we could but i'm kind of liking where we're sitting here we'll definitely try to bring charizard in the next battle but i feel like when you're using restricted lines you have to bring them at all times they're just so much better than most of the other pokemon you just can't go wrong with bringing them you know so we're gonna lock in this squad we're gonna get after it and is gonna bounce out here because he does have two fake out users so i think i need my instant War out here just to kind of control the battle and get after it. so let's see what he does let's see who his lead is landers alongside with who alongside with Calyx. okay i'm kind of with this I'm kind of with this. Uh, what's our play here? What is our play here? Fake out onto the landers? We do get an Intimidate off on that. And a Darkest Slayer could be, do some big damage. So I'm thinking of just maybe E-Webbing and taking some Speed Control here. What do I, oh, this is tough. This is real tough. This is real tough. Because he could Dynamax here. He could definitely Dynamax. So do I Volt Switch Pivot? I could definitely Volt Switch Pivot out into maybe like Palkia here. Hmm. So I know I do outspeed, or I could just go into E-Web and then Fake Out, and then Volt Switch Pivot. I think it's going to be my play. He might Dynamax that at Landers, which could kind of stink, but I'm hoping he doesn't. I'm hoping he's just like, yo, we're not going to Dynamax this turn. Give me the Fake Out. But that's really what I want right here. He is Intimidated, so I don't really see him maybe not doing it, but he is going to Dynamax. God dang it, man. So Reggie like he still has the Focus Hatch, which is great. Hopefully, uh, he's got to be doubling down into me, right? I should just went for a Darkest Lady, right? Yeah. 
Should have 1,000. I was just thinking about it. I should have 1,000% went to that Dark Slayer. Just into that Calyrex slot. Just went from there. But Landers is out here. He's about. This thing is an absolute unit. Absolute unit. He's just too good. So, Protect's going to come out here from Calyrex. What a play by him. What a play by him. But Red's like he still is going to get a turn if he's going into that Quake. That's silly. Fun. But I kinda, I'm kind of with that if he's just protecting the Calyrex. I'm kind of with that if he's just protecting Calyrex. I should be able to outspeed it. And now he's, oh, he's going for an airstream. So he wants a speed boost. And he's going to go into instant. Okay. Kind of with that. I could Volt Switch out. Which I might have to do. He's going to take some speed. I could E-Web. Uh, what is my player? What is going to be my player? I think we just Volt Switch out. I can Volt Switch into Palkia. And then kind of just go into a Darkest Lair. Should I do that? Or I can partner shot out. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go and try to land Darkest Lair. This could be amazing for us. We'll see how this one plays out. Because there's really no point in going into E-Web now. Because, you know, that thing is just quick. So, E-Web would have done nothing. He's going to go for Astral Barrage. And Red's like he's going to be able to eat up. And same thing with Incineroar. So, who's he picking to take out? Who are you picking to take out? Actually, Red's like he might go first. Yeah, Red's like he does outspeed. Hopefully, he's going after Red's like he saw now. But there we go. That gets some big damage. Half in it, actually. And then we can swap back into Palkia here. And Palkia can kind of get rolling. Palkia can get rolling. Or we could. Yeah, no. We're definitely going into Palkia. We're going to get Palkia out here, and we're going to Dynamax Palkia next turn. But we're kind of hoping that this Landers goes after Palkia. It would be lovely. But I definitely see it going after Instanor with a Quake, right? Let's see. We're an Airstream. Yep, there's an Airstream. Who are you going after? Goes after Palkia. That's huge for us. That is huge because Darkest Larry now pops out here, and it is going to pick up a KO onto that, uh, onto that Calyrex. The one tough part about Zassian being our uh, Restricted Mon is... We can't Dynamax him. So I have to Dynamax Palkia here as my Pokemon are really low on HP. So Dark Slayer pokes out here. Get out of here, Calyrex. You dead. You gone. Get out my face. But this is a tough one here. This is definitely a tough one. I'm trying to think of how we should play this one. He only has speeds boost. He really only has speeds boost. I could actually parting shot out here. But I feel like he's going to throw out a Pokemon to definitely take out my Incineroar here. So we'll see. We shall see. He throws out Kyogre. We do get that water boost. I'm scared. I don't know what to do here. This is definitely tough for us. 1,000% tough for us. I got to go into Dynamax. I got to go into this geyser here. Or I could take out... No, we're going to go into this geyser here. We got to go for that KO there. And then I'm... I can't really do much here. If we get off a parting shot, we can get off a parting shot. I'm going to try for it. But it is what it is with that. Because if he gets a speed boost... Actually, Red's like he could come out here and still out speed. But definitely going to be close. Definitely going to be close here. So we'll see this one. We'll, we'll see this one out here. The speed is just crazy good with him right now. He definitely uh, had a great lead up against us and just Dynamax the Landers. I kind of saw that coming once I saw Landers come into battle. I'm like, oh, he has a great chance to Dynamax and pretty much just control the battle, which is exactly what he's doing. So he's going to come out here with an Airstream. Palkia, go after Palkia. It is. Palkia should be able to eat that. Lovely. Uh, who goes first? Who goes first? Hopefully Palkia outspeeds. How's one going to play? Actually, not anymore. He's going to pick up the double KO easily here. Unless Palkia can somehow eat up this water spout. Palkia does. Okay, so Palkia eats up the water spout. That's great for us. I love it, yo. Palkia eats up the water spout. That really put us in a great spot for this game. Because now we go for a geyser. We got life orb. We got stab in the rain. If this can KO, we can be sitting in a great position. Let's go, yo. That's a huge KO. Palkia is definitely going to go down to that life orb damage. But that KO was enormous. Because we still have Regilecki chilling in the back on one HP. So I'm loving that. Unless he brings out a Pokemon with Fake Out. We do have Protect, though. So... I'm with it all day. We have Zacian. We have Regilecki. This battle is coming down to the wire. It is coming down to the wire. So good thing we full switched out and we and we saved this dude. And we saved my boy. Good thing we did that. Good thing we did that. Because Zacian might still be faster than Kyogre, which could be great. Unless he's Choice Scarf. We'll see. He's going to throw out um, Incineroar. There's Incineroar. Uh, Double Protect here. Double Protect probably our play, right? Probably maybe 1,000% our play. gotta be right it's gotta be our play i just can't deal with the fake out i just cannot deal with the fake out so yeah my heart's telling me yo double protect your jeans he has no way of setting up he has no way of like landing pester damage so double protect's gonna be the play and then we kind of just get after with regilecki i could speed control but i'm gonna bank on regilecki doing some mean damage over on kyogre and then us just sacred sorting across over on that that Cinnamore, right that's got to be the play. That's got to be the play. There's no need to E-Web here, right? Regilecki should 100% outspeed Kyogre unless he is sad. Or Choice Scarf. There's the fake out. And it was coming to Regilecki all along. I was going to set up a substitute. 
which could have been our play we definitely could have been our play but we could do it this turn but no we just have to go straight for attacks yo what a battle here what a battle thunderbolt's gotta come out here we gotta go thunderbolt we gotta go into secret sword unless he uh unless he protects but zassian still might be able to take that thing out let's see let's see how this one plays out here water spot. dude this thing's scarfed this thing's gotta be scarfed right he's gotta be scarfed he's this dude's flying this dude is flying plus one there's no way plus one outspeeds right he's gotta be scarfed right guys and that's gonna be ggs that is gonna be ggs yo what a game right here that was actually really good definitely came down to the wire and uh, i can't check out his team i was gonna say maybe i should check out his team but i don't think you can in casual battles but i think we lost this one due to an item but solid battle all around we got to show off the team yet again let's hop into our third and grab ourselves a winning record like I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of people are saying the Palkia and Zacian restricted combo is the best one in the game. Right now, I'm using it and I'm liking it a lot, but you guys already know. It takes a little bit of time to gel with a team and kind of get rolling with it and learn it to its fullest potential. But I'm liking this team a lot. It's definitely very strong and I can definitely see it doing work in the right hands. If somebody learns this team fully, I do think this team is very, very powerful. But yo, that second battle came down to the wire. We're hopping into our third Let's grab ourselves a winning record, but it is casual battles. I was not able to check out that guy's team or that guy's item, which kind of whack. But if I had to guess, that thing is scarfed, right? Outsped my Regilecki, and yo, look at the team that we're going up against in battle number three. I absolutely love it. I love it so much. A full evolution team with Jolteon, Sylveon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Espeon, and Flareon. So for all the people that have been asking me to do evolution teams, here's a little sneak peek for you guys. Here's a little sneak peek for you guys because I'm definitely trying to get get my hands on one of them and rock out with it for you guys. But we're going up against these guys in battle number three. And if I lose this battle, get out my face. Get out my face. I'll never record again. I will never record again, but we're going to go into a Cinder War turn one. It's just a... Actually, do we? They're all special attackers, aren't they? <laughs> They're all special attackers, so I could just fake out use it for parting shot. But I feel like Palkia is going to be a great lead here. I could go with Palkia and could go Charizard here as well. Actually, you know, let's go here. And let's go here. I'm with it. Let's rock out with these two in the lead. We're going to bring Palkia and Zassian in the back end. Lock it down. Lock it in. Let's get ourselves a winning record here for you guys. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't even hit done. I didn't even hit done. But, yo, dude, I love just looking at those sprites. That's such a sick team. But I feel bad for this guy. He's just trying to have fun on the casual ladder. And then you got people like me bringing in Zassian and Palkia teams. <laughs> but I give this dude props. I give this dude props all day. All day. All day long. But at least we were able to go up against two Series 12 teams. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys did enjoy the content. Yo. Seriously, if you are, like up this video. Smash that like button for me. If you're not subscribed, yo, come on. Yo. If you're watching my video this far and you're not subscribed, you owe Jeans a subscribe. You owe Jeans a subscribe. But he's going to double down with uh with Flareon and Sylveon, which is not bad. Not bad. I think we kind of already are pretty fast. I still am going to go into You have just guaranteed a speed control. And then I could just go into Quake. Might be my play. I think I am going to go into a Quake over onto this Flareon. Just get that special defense boost. Sylveon is special defense or special attacking alongside most of these others. So if I could just Dynamax and get it that way, should be able to survive a bunch of turns and then just go into G-Max Wildfire. So pretty much win this battle. I can definitely see it's just controlling it with this Charizard and this Regilecki. It's looking real good for us already. <laughs> it is definitely looking real good for us, but I wonder what he's going to do. He has to have some cool tricks up his sleeve with some cool moves on these Pokemon in order to make this team viable, right? You can't just have them all with normal sets. So which all is you and who's he gonna go into? Jolteon maybe? Hopefully Jolteon. It is Jolteon. Yo, that's hilarious. And we're going into a we're going into a quake onto that slot. Oh, that thing's probably lightning rod. Okay. I see this dude. Or is it Volt Absorb? I think it learns lightning rod. I think it does learn lightning rod. We shall see, but yo, that is hilarious. That is hilarious that he goes into Jolteon. I mean, I wouldn't have expected the max quake either, so. That's on him. E Web's gonna come out here. Lightning Rod, it's Volt Absorb. So we're still going to be able to hit up onto uh, my girl Sylveon and slow her down. Slow down there, Sylveon. Get a little bit of damage on that one. More importantly, have her uh, Max Quake come out here first. And get that huge, huge, huge special defense boost. And probably take you out, right? Get out of my face. Oh, he survives. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. I really don't see him doing too, too much damage overall to my... Uh... Oh, he's going to get some Volt Absorb. We're going to have to protect this turn. Hyper Beam coming in here. Hyper Beam. God dang. Look at that. <laughs> Rips in me. That's probably Pixie Play Hyper Beam. So it's probably a uh, stab. That's a big damage though. That's a big damage though. But from here, I could just Volt Switch out. But you know, I'm just going to end up protecting you. And then just going into a Wildfire over onto that uh, 
still be on slot because then the pester damage can take out that jolteon but i really don't see jolteon taking me out considering we have a special defense boost and we're rocking assault vest at the same time so no way he takes me out no shot no shot he's taking me out let's see what he does here he volt switches out look how tasty that snack is the tastiest of snacks he volt switch out maybe go back into flareon we'll see but sylveon might be dead i don't know let's see how much damage we get off of this thing but the wildfire damage is gonna be chipping around we still have a red lucky for a turn and we know he has that jolteon in the back end, so i'm liking where we're sitting he's gonna go into his final evolution which is gonna be espion look it's so cool yo the evolutions are sick and i can't wait for gen 9 because i feel like in gen 9 they are due to drop another evolution because Sylveon came out in Gen 6. This will be two generations we didn't get an evolution. Might as well add another one. They might as well add another one. Right? And I wonder what's going to be. Maybe a dragon one. Kind of hoping like a steel or like a rock evolution. Could definitely be really, really cool. It could definitely be cool. But from here, you know what? I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt and alongside with a, uh, with an Airstream. Do I go for an Airstream? How much Airstream? Uh, Go for airstream. We already have speed, so it's really not a problem. Might as well just go into another wildfire. Get that 10 uh, more damage in there. Kind of rock out from there. The Thunderbolt's going to poke. I'm not worried about Sylveon because he's going to go down the wildfire damage. So we're going to do that. Yo, that's some big damage there. This thing's going to set up a light screen, and that is pretty much GG's. We still have Palky in the back end. Can hands down just slap up onto that. Larry on with Hydro Pump. And this one, this one's over. Jolteon hops in here. I can protect and just have wildfire take it out. It's just over. It is just over. Evolutions are cool to use, but you know, they're just not that strong. Pepper Beam comes out here, we soaking that up. It's not very effective. And we have that Assault Vest alongside a special defense boost. Still did a good chunk of damage, but Wildfire chips away. I could definitely see these guys being like, being like yo, I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm leaving this battle. I'm calling it quits. <laughs> but yeah, G-Max Charger is still definitely very strong in the in the meta. He goes into Jolteon. Uh, what do I do from here? What do I do from here? He might protect that Flareon. Might protect that Flareon, but I'm just going to go into probably protect Scorching Sands. And I'm looking for that sweep. You know dang well Jeans is looking for that sweep. All day, right? So I do not want Red's Lucky to die. We're going to go in here. We're going into Scorching Sands. Let's run it. Oh, I thought it was double hitting. Wait a minute. It's single hitting? Wait a Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Hopefully he can't the battle. But yo, is Scorching Sands single hitting? I could have sworn it was double hitting. Someone let me know in the comments. Somebody let me know in the comments about this move right now. Because usually when you hit a double move, it clicks on both of the Pokemon when you're clicking on who to attack. Oh, he saw his Dynamax. I totally forgot. But this one, I only clicked on Jolteon. So I'm a little scared. I'm definitely a little scared. Oh, dang it. We did. We actually didn't need to protect my uh, Regilecki. Because if he goes there, there's no way he goes after Regilecki, right? He's got to go after my Char. My Charizard. My lovely Charizard. But Charizard's still out of speed, so. We'll be able to get off a nice lovely Scorch his hands. Unless Jolteon has speed, though, which he might. Jolteon probably does, because we do not have plus one on speed. Yeah, so he goes first. He's going to go for a Thunder and oh, he connects it. Eat this up. Again, Assault Vest, Special Defense Boost. We bulking. We bulking. And, of course, we're paralyzed. Of course. Well, it is a high chance of getting paralyzed. This thing's going to drop a Flare and go after Regilecki. Okay. So Charizard should still be able to get off his shot. I can bring out Palkia here. Charger lands a shot. It's over. Actually, that heat does does neglect a lot of damage. Does neglect a lot of damage. So let's see how this one plays out here. Charger's gonna go and Scorching Sands comes out here, and it's a solo hitting. Did they change that? Someone let me know in the comment section down below because I could have sworn, I could have sworn that that move was a double hitting move. Could have sworn. Solar Power's gonna come out here, and we live on one. We live on one. I could bring out you, or I could bring out the Dolgo. And I'm gonna bring out Palkia. I'm still going to try to rock out with a Hydro Pump. Or I could go in, in with an Earth Power. What would be more damage? I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious to see what would be more damage. I'm going to try to get off both moves here. So first off, we're going we're gonna to start with an Earth Power. We're definitely going to start with an Earth Power, right? Let's just think. Super effective. It's not stab. But this one is super effective. It is stab, but there is heat. So I, w I wonder what's going to do more damage. We'll start off with an Earth Power. See how much damage we can get off with that. And then we're going through Scorching Sands, obviously. Trying to rip up some damage here. So we'll see. We shall see. Earth Power comes through. Half. Okay. If Hydro Pump can, can finish that thing off, he's going for Knuckle. That's got to be over in Charge, right? Now he goes after Palkia. Okay, so... Okay, never mind. We're not going to be able to see. 
Unless Charizard is paralyzed. Okay, cool. Charizard's paralyzed. Yay. <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted. Because now we can go into this Hydro Pump here. And if Hydro Pump kills this thing, I would say Hydro Pump does more damage. Obviously, we can win this battle easily by just going into an Earth Power. But should be a guaranteed win regardless. Here. Like it just protects the Asian and then outspeed and hit him with a with a knuckle next turn. Or not a knuckle, a sacred sword. But we want to land this Hydro Pump. Let's do it. We want to land this Hydro Pump. Let's protect our boy. Let's protect him. We're having fun here. We're doing this for science. We are science in Pokemon here. Protect comes out from my dog. Uh, yeet. And Palkia is going to go here and drop a wicked Hydro Pump. It connects. How much damage? I think it did more. I think it did more, even in that heat. It probably was cutting it close. Someone wants to do the Poke Calcs, let me know in the comments section down below. But there it is, guys. Winning record. We just crushed that Evolution team. No problem. I knew that one was going to be easy. Great set of battles for today's video. Went 2-1 and one on that casual ladder and went up against two very strong Series 12 teams. I absolutely love this team. I could definitely see myself using this one in ranked battles and pushing high tiers with it. But we'll definitely see. We'll definitely see as I try out new Series 12 teams and bring you guys more content for this series. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.